Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over some Commutab posts and reacting to her very most recent video, Taking Off My Hijab. So, without further ado, let's get to it, folks. So, a day ago, Chantel writes, I brought some Be Beezer spray from with me. I'm thinking of going around Ottawa asking opinions from the public on what they really think. Devil face. So you're going to copy off of FFG then? Um, Chantel, um, I've never smelt the spray and I, I don't want to, but suffice to say, um, based on public opinion of people who have, actually smelt it it smells like shit it's 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 worse than the kind of perfume that you would get from the like the dollar store and yet you're selling it on your website for almost as much as one would pay for a small bottle of chanel number no. five there are are some really good you know uh uae perfumes and perfume oils that you can get on Amazon that probably smells far better than the, the, the Beezer spray and the crap that you're peddling with your husband. I know of this because I actually have a couple of perfume oils from the UAE that s smell really good are in from, and are from Amazon. The, this one that I um, am particularly fond of only costs $20 and it comes in a really pretty bottle. Um, it, it's a perfume oil and it just, it's amazing. It stays on your skin pretty much all day. And it's just very, it's just, I, I, I don't, there's no words to, to, to adequately describe how beautiful the smell is. Like, oh, it just really does give you that a sense of what, you know, the, the middle, you know, what, what the middle East smell smells like, you know, like kind of like the culture. I don't know. It's like, it's like bottling up it all up in, in a perfume. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's just, it's so gorgeous. Um, but anyways, um, let's move on to the next Mutap post. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied today. It's like, oh, I haven't done this in a while and I get tongue-tied. All right, so the next one says, FYI, our pets are not abandoned, nor will they be. They are keeping Salah company. He loves them so much, and they love him too. I would never do that, and if you think so, you don't know me. Therefore, your opinion doesn't matter. Have a nice day. Well, obviously, our opinion does matter because you're making this community tab post. Okay. Like, Chantel, the Quay art is, is over. You're, you've come back to Canada because you're trying to get your health in order, but we all know that you really don't give a shit about your health. Okay. That you're not you're not really taking it that seriously. You just came back to Canada because the contract's up, in my humble opinion, and um, you just want to come back in bees and and do what you were doing before, arguably now in secret because you don't want to 
sh- show that online, uh, online at least for now until you get really settled in until you can find a way to end things with Salah or maybe it's already ended and Sean- Chantal just hasn't accepted the reality yet because we all know how Chantal is when it comes to breakups she or you know she can't accept it she can't accept being broken up with I mean, look how, look, I mean, look how she handled things with, with, with Nader. Like, they weren't even together. And, um, like, she still chased after him. So, we're gonna be in for some real fuck shit, you guys, from now on. Like, I'm, I'm so here for it. But, um, let's move on to the next Mia Tab post. And there's a, a gameplay of Sala. I mean, he's not a bad streamer, but... He has, like, literally taken other people's gameplay and repurposed it as his own, which I don't, I, I don't have respect for. I mean, come on now. Don't take other gamers' content. We work hard making that, making the content, and you know, and stuff like that. Like, make your own content, John, I mean, Salah. St- well, stick with making, let's just say stick with making your own content. And your own gameplay basically. Anyways, um, Booty Booty then posts this picture. Thank you for all the positive comments and over 500 likes on my latest video, you guys. Means a lot to me. This sweater is from Maurice's and it's a 3X. I have more to show you and we will surely, and surely Pennington's bees in the near future. Oh, bullshit that this is a 3X. You know damn well this is not a 3X. You're over 500 pounds. There's, you've gained so, how much freaking weight? Over 100 pounds since you know since living in Kuwait. There is no way that you can fit into a 3X. That's just that's saying that's like Amber Lynn saying she can fit into like a a 4X. Okay. I mean, you're roughly the same size as Amber. There's just no way. And look how heavily filtered this photo is. Like, her one leg doesn't even match the other. Look, her, her leg is skinny, and then you get this leg. Like, what is this? What is this? This leg is thicker than the other. It doesn't look... It looks weird. It really looks weird. Anyways. Um, on to the next one, you guys. Um, hi, a 3X Marises, just like I said. Even if it was a 6X, I would show it. I don't hide or lie about my weight, and now I think I've proven it enough, to, so now I'm done. Anyway, love yourself no matter what. I am happy. I'm here to help myself, and we can always work, work on ourselves and become healthier, and as a result, happier. Inshallah. Wishing you a blessed day. You know, she could have taken a picture of this, of this, whatever. Uh, maybe she got one for her um, aunt or mom or whatever. Taking a picture of the, the tag and then, you know, not, you know, give, you know, basically alluding that she's a 3X when we all know that she's not. There's just, there's just no way. I, I, I just, I'm not buying what she's selling. Okay. Because Chantel, she is manipulative and she will do what she, what she has to to manipulate the narrative. She will go that far. We've seen her do it. So it's not out of the realms of possibility that she takes a picture of a, a 3X in this shirt and then that's not hers and then hides the real size. And then this is her, you know, grifting on Cameo. Want a Merry Christmas from me to someone special, including yourself, because you are so also special. Buy a Cameo now and make your holiday a ho-ho hoot. Like, anybody wants a freaking Cameo from you. Seriously. Who would buy that? That would be, like, the worst Christmas gift to, my, to oneself and to other people. I'd rather have a Cameo from, like, I don't know, like, Ariana, not Ariana Grande, like, I don't know, let's say Taylor Swift or something, you know, if somebody got me a, a, a Taylor Swift cameo, I, I, you know, that'd be, that'd be something, you know what I mean? You're not a celebrity, Chantel, like, I'm, I'm surprised you even have a cameo, but anyways, um, let's get on to the video, shall we? 
just an FYI, I don't think she's going to be taking off her hijab anytime soon. I think that the title is a complete troll, but, you know, you never know. But anyways, let's get to. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I know what you're thinking. I'm back in Canada. I know a lot of you expected me to just take off my hijab and for me to go live a lot. I know, okay. So I am, I have a lot of things to take care of and do. And I just find that the videos are more safe for me right now because honestly, um, you know, it's just realistically, unfortunately, some people ruin the fun for everyone, right? It's not safe for me to go live right now. I get stalked, I get followed around, and it's just not cool. So, oh you know, my god, nobody is cares. Nobody cares, Chantel, about who you are and what you know, where you go, and what you're doing in, in your private. All right, nobody's stalking you. Get over yourself. Now, now that that th that woman that threatened her, I guess, you know, the one that threatened to like get a videographer and a photographer. I mean, if, if that's why she's being very careful. Then, yeah, that's understandable because I think that shit is creepy as hell. I, you know, but um, other than that, no one gives a shit, Chantel. If they happen to see you and they know who you are, yeah, of course they're gonna take a photo or two, without you knowing, or video footage. I mean, I think it's only. I don't agree with it, but I think it's, like, only human. Now, if if I saw her, whatever, and in the wild and stuff like that, I don't even know whether I would resist taking a photo or a video. Even though it goes against, goes against my beliefs. I think everybody deserves their privacy. I, I don't know. I, I really don't. I don't know what I would do in that situation. Oh, I'm trying to safeguard my privacy. These were in my car. Remember these? <laughs> I'm trying to safeguard my um, privacy right now. So, uh, yeah. Um, when I'm settled into my own apartment uh, or house, I'm not sure what I'm going to be renting. Um, With Pete's? There's no way you're going to be renting a house in this economy. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You were complaining about renting a studio apartment and the prices of that. Do you think that you're going to be able to rent a house? Jeez, girl. I will film, like in the kitchen, my bedroom, stuff like that. I just want to show the outside of my location or anything like that. I'll be very careful. I'm being very careful this trip. There are literally, like, psychotic people who are on my tail, and I just, yeah. It's just, I'm trying to be more responsible for my own security and just my own privacy more than anything, you know? So, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, there is that one person. I mean, and yeah, that, 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 that'd be enough for me to, if I was in Chantel's shoes, that'd be I got to be careful about how I, you know, how I film and stuff like that. This is a sweat. Don't get, don't get a big head over it, Chantel. You're not that important. From Pennington's. We will Pennington's bees. Um, but this is from Pennington's and it's a 4X. So again, it just depends how it's made, where it's from, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I wear anything. The only place I really wear 3X is from Maurice's. They, they're made big. So if you want your clothes made big, I would go there. Um, I wear between a 3X and a 5X. Depends. So anyways, I have a busy day. I'm going to go get my car serviced. Look, I'm not getting rid of this car. Like I said, it's paid off and I don't have to worry about car payment. So that's awesome for that. Um, I haven't had to, I mean, this really, do we, do you honestly believe that, that this car is paid off? I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she was paying some of it off and the rest of it off and when she was in Kuwait. I don't know. So maybe she's telling the truth. I don't know, but I don't know if I necessarily believe that. This is the first time I haven't had a car payment. Like, we have the SUV in Kuwait, and despite what a lot of people think, that's Salah's car. He pays his own, he's paid his own bills before me. He will continue to pay his own bills without me, okay? Um, no, no bullshit say, that, that he is able to, able to afford paying for that car. That car is not really yours. It's, 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 I think it, it's just they're able, allowed to drive it around, and then they just, whatever. Look, I'm broke. Well, then how can I afford to pay for two households? How can I afford? Um, you know, people say, I'm broke, I'm broke. Well, then how can I afford to pay for two households and two vehicle payments um, and all these debts I'm paying back? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. People are so willing to contradict me. Well, I mean, let's look at it this way. If you're paying for all of that, and yeah, it would be easy for you to, to go broke and show that you're broke and stuff like that if you're paying all that off and being responsible. But something tells me you're not being as responsible as you're claiming. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily believe she's going to live by herself. I think she's going to live with Pete's and he's going to pick up a lot of the flack as per usual. Like, I don't even think she's ever paid Pete's back for all that, that, that $5,000 for all, you know, for the mess that they caught, that she caused at the, at the villa. 
like if Pete's takes allow if Pete's takes her back and allow and they live together, he's a fool. Themselves to fit their narrative, but it's just anyway. <laughs> fit their narrative but it's just any sense people are so willing to contradict themselves to fit their narrative but it's pay for two households and two vehicle payments um and all these debts i'm paying back i mean it just doesn't make any sense people are so willing to contradict themselves to fit their narrative but it's just anyway so uh... the same could be applied to you Chantel. um yeah i'm just gonna get this car cleaned up detailed serviced and we're good to go the kia will be brand new <laughs> but uh yeah i mean you know just other than normal wear and tear it's fine you know i'm not gonna i'm definitely not gonna get another car payment right now so anyways um so chantelle you've run that thing to the ground because you were for over two years almost two years you were going back and forth to like what montreal which is right I don't know, no, no, I don't even know where she's at now. But I mean, is there even any mileage left on that car? Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I wanted to talk about the hijab. Um, like I said, I know people are expecting me to go back to myself. I mean, I can still be myself and wear a hijab. This is my religion. This is also, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm going to stay covered. Like, I know people think that I'm going to come back to Canada and completely take off my hijab. People are expecting it. And it's kind of... You know disheartening to see people think that i'm just taking religion as a joke i'm not a perfect muslim nobody is perfect i religion as a joke chantelle you're cosplaying you're not a woman of the faith you see is that what's disheartening this seriously you haven't shown uh given us any reason to even suggest that you're taking this seriously and if you're going to you're going to come on here and say oh not all Muslims are perfect. Nobody's perfect, Chantel, but you can at least make the effort to show your audience that you actually give a shit about the faith that you are cosplaying in and actually make it a reality. Be a real Muslim woman. I'm still pretty new. I mean, it hasn't even been a full year and I just Chantel by now you should have already read the the entire Quran and you should be you know, taking part of prayer. They have apps for that, Chantel. They have an app ever, and I can't afford it because it's like really expensive for some reason. And it's like there's different. It's all prayer for all different kind of faiths, and it's a prayer app basically. And um, I did a free trial, or whatever, and I, I thought it was pretty good. But they do have like. For Mus it's for Muslims as well. So it's like there are there are other apps too, Chantel. It's like it does not you know, there's you have every opportunity to to pray and th then then there are certain like nuances, you know, that we've you know, that are important that we haven't seen you partake in. Because this isn't very, this isn't, hasn't been real for you, Chantel. You went to Kuwait to get away from your problems, and now you're being forced to come back to Canada because you are, you know, can no longer escape your problems. But now you're also trying to come back and be like, I'm still this pious Muslim woman. Chantel, you were never really, truly Muslim to begin with because this isn't real. This is a cosplay. You're fake married to a man who just wants you for papers. That's it. And that's arguably if the if the if this relationship is still go you know this fake arrangement sorry is still even going on. You know it, I'm not perfect no not all the time I, you know but I mean this is a hijab okay I I wear this because I have to cover so for those of you even though I've said it many you times you wear that be because like you don't want to I... show your bald head anymore you don't want to share you know show what you really look like so you're covering up and being modest because. You're just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. You're, you're embarrassed, I guess. You're just embarrassed. But then again, I question that because it's like she, she wasn't so embarrassed before to show her, you know, her whole body and her, her baldness and stuff like that. So how, like, how, how sound is that actual assessment? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she finally became ashamed and whatever, or. I don't know. Or maybe this is all to, pl to just to please Salah. She thinks that 
covering up and, and being a pious Muslim is what's going to please Salah. I don't know. I just, all I know is, is that she's not a, a woman of the faith. She's just pretending that she is for a man. Can, I have to cover everything except for my hands, sometimes my feet. You know, when I pray, I cover my feet and my face. So I have to. Since when do you pray, girl? When? Um, cover my neck always and the chin yes my double chin even okay so yes i have to cover everything now when i'm in the house i never cover anything when i'm alone with my husband i don't wear a hijab but just because i'm in canada i'm not going to stop being who i am and who i am you know i've seen this comment a lot by people and i'm not getting down on you i don't mind i expect this kind of reaction from people you know i know people are finding it dis either in disbelief that i'm muslim still you know and i never thought i would ever be in this position i would never be who i am today but um this feels like like truly who I am and you know if it wasn't yeah it would be just I would take it off easily but I'm not ever going to take it off um even even if I'm never with Salah again that's not going to happen inshallah but let's say I didn't I, we weren't together anymore maybe Muslim isn't just have anything to do with him you know it's me, me bullshit too. So this is bullshit has nothing to do with him as soon as he dumps your ass and let's just say that's it's gonna happen that hijab and, and go straight back to, to the true Chantel. This isn't the real Chantel. This is just a a caricature of some kind that you're trying to uh, trying to play up. Whatever. It's it's just ridiculous. This is a decision I'm making. It's not. No one's forcing me to do it. It's it's a decision I've made all on my own. And while I'm in Canada and anywhere else in the world, when you see me in the public eye on camera, I'm going to be wearing a hijab. So those are the parts of my aura, it's called aura, I'm always going to cover. You're only going to see my face, you're only going to see my hands, you're only going to see my, um, that's pretty much it, <laughs> you know, you, that's pretty much it. Um, there are a lot of things, yes, I do that. Technically, um, you know, a lot of people argue against Islam wearing lipstick, stuff like that. To each their own, I'm not, you know, people shouldn't judge other people, especially non-Muslims. I have non-Muslim people who show their hair, who are trying to tell me what is an appropriate hijab. You can even look this up. And, you know, I've seen Muslim women, you know, like, wear decent amount of makeup okay like there's this makeup artist you know that their makeup is just beautiful like i can't like oh this is I, this woman in particular on youtube she's really good many 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 muslims actually wear the uh, hoodies as long as you're covering your aura as long as you're covering that's technically a hijab um i don't always have to wear a veil for it to be a cover you know uh i don't know it's just like i mean it's fine you can go on hothijab.com uh, h-a-u-t-e and check for yourself it's, it's perfectly fine um so even in the quran it doesn't say you must wear a chiffon hijab to uh to be appropriate it just says cover cover yourself like in a, the most general vague sense possible. girl you've been wearing like this black thing is that her chin spanx is that what that is or is that the the hijab i can't tell which the chin is, but the girl oh, i need the ac on it's 30 33 fahrenheit <laughs> and i have the ac on so i was like you need a winter jacket let's go because they have it like a north face um at the mall and i'm like i don't want a winter jacket like i am not gonna wear it you can't even fit into north face girl who are you freaking trying to kid? I'm smaller than you, and if you can't, then if I can't fit into North Face, really, well, I don't know. I mean, I did try North Face jacket on. It was okay, but I it was still kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just the style. I don't know. But, I mean, I can somewhat, but, I mean. I've had winter jacket. No way she'd be able to fit into a North Face. It's I'm making a shacket, but I mean, I don't, I don't need one. I'm hot. At this point, you, you, you go on to like women with Amazon, women within or whatever, and get something big. You get something decent. Right now, I have my undershirt. I have this. I'm covered on my head. So, you know, I, don't, I didn't even wear my scarf today. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just busy visiting. I'm going to be visiting people and taking care of appointments and everything like that. I have a lot of appointments to do. And I'm running into a wall because um, the wait time I called around for most family doctors is like two to three years. I mean, that's where the healthcare system is failing. Right now, at, let, let's say at the Montfort Hospital, okay? Right now, I saw on the news, the wait time at the emergency is 20 hours. So, look, it's just, I don't know how long it's going to take me. And that's why I'm here indefinitely for now, because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get the, the healthcare that I need. And, you know, there's long wait lists and I have a lot to take care of. So I'm just going to need to be here for a while. And uh, yeah, so that doesn't mean I'm not going to ever see Salah. We can visit each other. 
But uh, right now, and you know, the pets are keeping him company, and I purposely, I could have easily brought her with me. Well, not very easily. Um, I really am kind of, I feel so bad doing that, knowing that they're like going to be on the plane for so long and stressed out. I don't know. It's really stressful. But also, he wants them to be there. Like, the pets love him too. And Julia's close to him as well. And, you know, um, he's taking good care of them, and they're there. Maybe you could work on getting. In the meantime, work on getting Salah's paperwork, whatever. Is that maybe that's what she's also doing? Maybe she's coming over here to work on getting him over there, as well as getting the animals over there. There to keep him company, make him less lonely. He loves the pets. Um, so he's someone who never was was raised with a cat. And I said, "You're gonna love the cats pretty soon." Sure enough. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I better get going. Have a look. So, and definitely, she's gonna be here for a couple of years then. Pretty much. What to do today? Oh my gosh, I got have an appointment soon for the car, and uh, I hate waiting. Wait, you had to wait two years for a family doctor? I could never do that. See, that's, that's what that's been saying. People say, "Oh, the you get free." But if you have to wait, if 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 she's being being truthful, if you have to wait two years for a family doctor, that's freaking ridiculous. What if you have? serious medical issues that need to be taken care of who do you see where do you go because i mean i've never had to deal with that like you know maybe a, a month or two you know if i'm going to see a new doctor a couple months but two years no 20 hours in an er no way not even during COVID did I have to wait 20 hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm -mm. like the other night I had to go to the ER, you know, and it was like in and out. Like seriously. Patience, my friend. So, um, so that's, that's why I'm dressed like this. You know, I'm not wearing a hijab or a baya. I didn't bring any of my abayas because I just, people don't really wear them here. And I just wanted to be more casual here. Access to like bigger casual clothes uh, in the winter here is probably makes me more comfortable. And um, also with the toque, it's a winter. So you wearing a toque over here, you're, you're preparing to, to not wear the hijab anymore. On top of like a chiffon. I don't know if I really like that look as much. So I'm just wearing an undercap. It's a hijab that goes to here, covers everything. And it covers my neck and my chins. If you want to say chins, whatever, I don't care. Um, and I don't have to worry about it, you know? And then I have my hat hat on top of that because it's nice and warm and i'm warm i'm perfectly fine i'm perfectly comfortable this way you know i have no complaints so but as for taking off the hijab no i don't know why people would think that be, you people have so many um theories about me and how i feel and, and you're so wrong you're wrong about every single thing you're wrong about me being a fake muslim you're wrong about me um and no i'm not a perfect muslim but it doesn't mean i'm fake and i don't believe in god in Allah. okay and you're so wrong about me wanting to eat pork i'm never gonna eat pork again i haven't now i will be honest that sometimes i eat non-halal uh, meat while i'm here because it's harder to access unless you go to a specific restaurant you can buy it in the grocery store too but um sometimes i go out and there's not everything is halal and it's just you know i'll eat halal where i can but the main thing is i'm not going to eat i'm not going to eat pork and i'm not going to drink and i'm also not going to smoke weed uh, or take edibles i i thought when i came here i would be craving it so bad and there's dispensaries i was driving by and i really just you know what i like i like the feeling of a clear head i was thinking of how i felt when i was like high and bullshit we all know that she's already gotten high. Come on now, Chantel. How, I, no, I think it's worse for my depression. I really do. And I have a bit of a trauma from all those wheelchairs. I swear, I don't, I don't think I would enjoy it the same way. I want to turn a new leaf. I want to be different here. I don't want to go back to my old habits. I don't miss those. I never missed them. So when people say, you look so much happier, I'm happy to be able to see my family and take care of things, but I'm actually really sad because I miss my pets and Salah. And um, I don't miss any of the bad habits I used to have. I don't miss them at all whatsoever. So that's false as well. Anyways, there's my sermon for today. Um, yeah. But other than that, um, hijab is staying on and I'm moving on. <laughs> so like I said, my goal is just to keep, um, once I have more updates about health appointments and things, I want to share my health journey, um, and that stuff. And yeah, just share my journey of, you know, moving out on my own. But, um, eventually the goal is to live together again, but I have to take care of my things here right now. You know, so, um, but anyway. Two years? So you're willing to, to, to go two years to, you know, being living in canada you know whatever i mean you know whatever girl i mean if you're really um committed to this i mean if it takes it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take i mean that's just horrible though to two to wait two years for a freaking family doctor i mean for fuck that shit i would go you know, you know. that's one thing you know one thing i'm grateful about the insurance that you know living in the u.s and having the kind of insurance that we have i mean is that uh i don't have to wait for a doctor 
even people who don't have insurance that you know are have to go to a low income place like you don't have to wait that long for a freaking doctor anyway we'll see what the future holds i'm taking pretty much what they have to still have to pay but you, you know what i mean i mean there are places like that you know over here taking it day by day i'm just literally taking it day by day right now um just trying to you know. i wonder what what it would be like if Chantel just moved to the u.s let's just say and and tried the health care over here like how would that how would she do that like would it be more expensive how well not being a Can being a canadian citizen having health care would she be able to do it in a reasonable amount of time? I'm just kind of curious about that because I think she'd fare better over here in the U.S. if, if it's going to take two years to get a family doctor. You know, stay positive, not feel too lonely, and just keep myself very busy, which I am. So, anyway, I'm going to do a tour of different places, hometown stuff like that. So, um, I will definitely have a video for you guys. I want to do a tour of the mall in Cornwall <laughs> to show you guys. And it's not far between Ottawa and Cornwall, so I can go on. I love driving, so we'll uh, just do some videos like that here and there. So I'll see you guys later. I'll let you know how much my car was and what was wrong with it, and then I'll probably end the video. So thank you guys for watching, and yeah, see you in the next clip. So my car is fine. The only thing I need done is some brakes, rotors, and pads. Mm -hmm. And after labor and everything, it's going to be quite costly. It's going to be- What's this, Chantel? A note meal raisin co chocolate cookie with raisins. Should you really be having that, Chantel? Be like $1,500, but I'll have good breaks for a little while. So that's good. So I'm getting that fixed right now. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying some complimentary coffee and some dad's oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Okay, you guys, I'm grocery shopping and, uh, uh look at the things I found. Um, I got some pasta sauce for cheese and uh, I got some lunch mates, the turkey and cheese ones with a little Kit Kat. And I also got some stove top. We don't have this in Kuwait. These are basically things I've been missing. We don't have in Kuwait. Uh, Alphagetti. Alphagetti is- Really, Chantel? You- Alphagetti is, is like basically the, that tomato and, and pasta. Really unha it's really One unhealthy. One of my favorite things ever. And also, look at all these things. Uh, flakes of turkey. It's so good for sandwiches. I have some hamburger helper. I'm so excited for this. I've been really oh. craving it. I can't believe it. And uh, here we have some beef ravioli. Chef Boyardee! Oh, diabetic is buying Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. I Oh my god. I, I admit, when I was younger, I could fuck this sh okay? And there's been a rare few occasions where we've gotten this from, like, the food pantry, okay? And, yeah. You know. I'll sh have a meal of it, whatever. Usually it's like a family size, whatever, so we'll have a meal of it. But we don't typically buy this stuff because it's just, it's it's not something you want to buy on the regular. Or when we were camping as children, you know, when we were, when I was a children, child, child ugh, when I was a child, this would be stuff we would have in the, you know, in the, you know, camp with, you know, something easy to make, whatever. So yeah, this is like a part of my childhood, but it's like, like I said, not something I would buy today. I checked the ingredients. There's no pork. I'll, even in the little shell, you know, the let's just say the alphabet. The sh it's kind of what's that brand over here? You know, it's like the alphabets with and tomato sauce. But um, that's another thing you know that we used to buy when I was younger, and also it'd be very like camp camping food, basically. You know what I mean? So it's something easy for my mom to put together. You know, because um. Some, you know, it's, we did. You didn't have like the full kitchen in the camper, so you know you could only do so much. But like, um, it's not something that we typically buy. So we're good to go. So I got a few cans of that because uh, you know I love. It. And she's uh, she's su she's like super diabetic, and she's buying this food. I don't get it. And a big block of cheese, some soup, and some other things. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will. Now she's just gonna go pick out on 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 Chef Boyardee and stuff. Like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on this health journey, and you're buying Chef Boyardee. See you in the next one. Bye! I, I can't. I can't. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Chantel's never going to get better. If she's out there buying Chef Boyardee and shit, she's never going to get better. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves. Oh, <laughs>